We're going to start with the angelic aggregation, which I, I initially meant to put angelic aggravation, but I I didn't. I, I don't know. I'm I'm you know I'm not always the smartest man in the world. Uh, but let's let's play. So the deck is it's all angels. Um, it is led by the one and only Lara Doorbringer. All angels get stuff. All the creatures are angels, except for, technically, the vehicle, which makes angels. Uh, otherwise, we've got... Bo oh, sorry, the Bishop of Wings, which also makes angels. Otherwise, we've got tons of removal for the early game. We've got combat tricks. We've got more removal. We've got ways to ramp up our mana, ways to gain a little bit of life here and there. Board wipes, all that kind of stuff to try and get us low, because that The one thing this deck does fall over to is... um. Let's play stars. The one thing this deck falls over to is... Aggro decks, of course. Nothing, no, no good creatures. Our deck costs less than like five mana. This hand has three mana, two cards we can cast. Sarah Angel. This is about as good as they get. They're not going to get much better than this, to be honest. Obviously, God's willing is useless right now. Dawn of Hope can come into play, and if we don't, if we draw our fourth land on our fifth, at least we can start pumping out dudes. There's a Shadow Spear. Dilly Grange is probably the worst land we can draw. There's a there's an argument to say that maybe this shouldn't be in the deck because it only really works if you bring it out late game, and it's so important that you hit every land drop generally. I don't know. Battery saver mode. What's my phone doing? My phone battery saver. There we go. Save me some batteries. Home plays a golden egg. Opponents on Yarok, which is in the battlefield. Additional time. Alright, let's let's do it Grange for no value. Next turn, our worst case is that we can start. Um, we can start pumping out one ones. Our opponent's not doing too much yet, but I'm assuming Yarok's gonna come down soon enough, and they're gonna start uh, dropping some creatures with some. Nice little enter the battlefield effects. We we absolutely need to see land the next two turns to for us to get our game plan right on. But that's fine. That's fine. It's gonna happen. I believe in it. Opponent. Thinking, okay, we didn't get the land, so we drop our fourth land. End of our opponent's turn, we're going to make a make a one-one and pray. <laughs> opponent plays their fourth land. It's a labyrinth. That could be annoying. Pass to attackers. Opponent does nothing. Okay, so at least our opponent's in the same boat where their cards must be too expensive to play early. That's that's a positive, right? Let's make a make a fella, a fella or a lady, whatever it may be, and we get another come into play tap land. All right, well let's attack, and then we get to draw a card if it if it hits. I should have so I should have paid the two before. Yeah, but it doesn't matter too much. But we now have six things. There's Yarok. Death Touch Life Link Gross Stuff. Cast some attackers. My turn. So we're going to play a land. I guess we'll start with Sarah Angel keeping up God's Willing. No attacks, of course. Then the plan next turn, depending on if we draw the land or not. I suppose I could, I could Elspeth the Yarok. Could be the play. We'll see what happens. This is hexproof, removes hexproof, right? And indestructible. Doesn't stop protection, though. No. Lame. My phone died. It's at six mile. This is where they can start doing gross stuff, which is what we don't want to see. When Yarok works, it works well. Egg 
gives our card from our hand. Um, so I guess we exile the Herald and the Angel of the Dawn. The Herald of the Parhelion. Cost eight. Mm. It's going to be annoying if we do end up in the late game here, not being able to have Parhelion out. It's going to be annoying, but you know we've got the protection, we've got the removal, we've got the the Whammy with Angel of the Dawn as well. Messy and Wanderer, sure. That's graveyard, isn't it? Bottom of the library. Okay. Potent might attack for three here. We're fine with that. They're equipping. Sure. Plus one, plus one. Trample life link. Faster attackers. Because you know next turn we're just going to play Dawnbringer attack for five. Seal away is nice as well. We've got God's Willing up to protect Dawnbringer. Because they've definitely got a removal spell of some kind in hand. But if all goes well, we can probably have them dead very soon. Playing craft up, fantastic. We've got our soldier to sacrifice here. Our opponent's going to sacrifice their Fenlurker, I guess. Oh, is it twice? Oh. That's sad. Or do we just cast Lyra again next turn? Right, let's cast... Put Lyra back in the command zone. And see if they try and attack. Definitely going to attack, yeah. Get that life back. We don't block. I think we kill it next turn. Well, that's nice. That's nice for the end game. Kill Yarrick. Obviously, he puts it back in his command zone. Sure. Attack with our angel, we pass. So at the moment, it's six months. This is four, one, one. That doesn't really do much for us. Can't cast that. He's got six months, so. Can't cast this unless he drops a land and he has to use his whole turn casting it, which is pretty cool. So the plan next turn is going to be probably just Angel of the Dawn, God's Willing, with God's Willing back up. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what comes up. We'll see what happens. Uh, sure. That's fine. You can't attack. You can equip. I suppose you can equip. I don't want to waste God's Willing on a block, though. matter. Take Vengeance is nice as well. Yeah, I think we're just going to try and get some more damage in here. Get to attack for five. It's nowhere near as much as I'd like to be attacking for this turn. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any value off the Elspeth Con Conqueror's death, which is going to be annoying. Unless they attack here. If they take with their creatures, it'd actually be pretty great for us because we can chuck Angel of Dawn in front of um, in front of the Underrealm Leech trade and then get this back in my upkeep. But I, do I don't think they're attacking. So 
this is a sorcery type creature. This is a flash exile type creature. We've got we've got your two good forms of removal, so as soon as they start attacking, we can start dealing with their creatures anyway. We're not feeling terrible right now. Oh, that's right, I forgot they get to do this, don't they? Gets a lair which does nothing. Attack, 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 attack. It's not escaping, right? No, it's just casting it. Perfect. Put the spear on the Plague Crafter. Yeah. Attack with both. Attack with just that one. Yeah, I think we'll take the block. Worst case here is if they could bring it back from the graveyard would be annoying. Oops. Opponent gives the oops. Not sure if that's the oops on my behalf or theirs. Don't care about the trample damage. It's all about just getting it back. There's what's going on, buddy. So let's get our angel back. And we just got our land to get our Lyra back as well. But do we... Do we? That's the question. I think we wait. I think we, we want to wait till we have God's Willing up. It just seems pretty bad otherwise. Hey, Anthony. Thanks for dropping in, man. Appreciate you being here. Things are things going well. Playing some Brawl tonight. Doing some more FNM at home. What's with the gingerbread cards? I think it was one of the Eldraine promo sleeve options I, I don't remember it's it's been way too long all right we definitely want to draw a land this turn I can sacrifice this can't I uh, don't do that so if our opponent does it's pretty cool she does look she's eh ready it was from the trailer where she was like eh kill, kill Garrick and then didn't exist anywhere other than the trailer which was slightly annoying uh, so we're, pr we're more likely just going to be making a 1-1 one, one here. Yeah, expected that much. That's cool, that's cool. Field of Juice, sure. Resolve. What's with the card at the bottom? So this e this is Brawl, man. Uh, so this is it's, it's the, the, it's the Commander variant. It's a stroke cards. And this is, this is my... Commander, Lyra. So my deck is all angels, um, plus a whole bunch of removal and ways to keep me alive until I could get to the point where I could cast the angels. Um, it's it's kind of fun if you if you're into that kind of thing, you know. Uh, you hate Lyra Dawnbringer? She's amazing. All right, let's get rid of this. So if we exile this spawn, it means they can't bring it back because that could have been bad. Four, eight. Make it one of these. My turn. Land. Not a land, but another angel, which I'll take. So I'm probably going to need a lot of removal spell here to, to kind of to get us, because we've got an eighth of this turn. Well, they've got, I mean, they, can, they can block with their goose, but whatever. We're going to four them... Then we just have to cast Lyra to win. Probably has two cards in hand, but under Realm Leech means that they get the chance to they get to pick their best of the top three cards. Um, we have four, seven lands, so we're still five lands away from wanting to cast this. Oh, they chose real quickly. Must be a good one. We just need to have two angels alive if we win. What do you got, oh, opponent? Uh, 
Prince thinking hard. I know they did. Hey, just check this out already. Does it work? Hey, that's us. We did the podcast thing. That's you. That's you and me. We're gonna be famous, yo. Sixty card. Yeah, so it's sixty card EDH using cards available on Arena. Normally, it's standard. Okay, it, it was only standard, uh, but then they expanded it for just for this event to also be historic. This doesn't have a reach, does it? No. So what's he targeting? My Sarah. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've been making. I've been playing with a few decks, um, and it's free just for the next like eighteen hours. So we need green. Oh wait, he gets two cards. What was the other target? Oh, he doubled. He doubled and did that. Yeah, good game. Because the opponent knows we've got it. Oh, they go to 12. No blocks. Opponent knows exactly what I'm going to do. Not even a thing. Play you command. Yeah, that's literally what. That's literally it. Play my commander. All my angels get to be big girls. And then we boom their faces for a billion damage. And opponent can see it's before we get to boom our faces. Oh well.